So I'm going to show you a quick video here and I want you to pay attention. So um, go ahead and put your pencils down. During the planning process of this lesson, we started with the task. Acts 1, 2, and 3 served as a way to move the students into what they saw and what they wondered as their answers were recorded on the board. And I want you, while you're watching this video, I want you to think of something that you notice and something that you wonder, okay? Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. I wonder, did he get another bag or did he refill that, up, that same bag? Good, so did he refill the bag or did he get another bag? From that task, I got my standard, and um, which then I made myself familiar with the whole part of the standard again. So um, with NBT7, we focused on the adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing of decimals, and that's what this um, task was about. Mm -hmm. Then um, we moved over to the math practice part and I found this important because I was able to zero in on the parts that I really wanted them to learn. So we did math practice six and two. And in six, that's where they used it precision, where they um, thought of the strategies and really went back, did I do this, did I do that, to help with their calculations. And then math practice two, which is really important across all grade levels, is being able to justify and reason. Um, and so those were my two math practices that I wanted them to focus on because I wanted them to be able to look at a problem, choose the operation that they needed, and really um, zero in on that um, and not go all over the place because they don't know what they're doing. And then justifying because they, it is really important for them to be able to understand what they're doing and why they're doing it. Can we anticipate that we would be hearing vocabulary? Volume again? Volume, base. I'm curious how many groups are going to miss the purpose of this, and that is answering the question. Yes. Um, during the planning process, I did a lot of anticipation, really trying to figure out what I would be expecting to receive from the students during this lesson. Okay, so you think they need to find, we, I need to give you the area of the container? Oh, okay, so Owen is saying we need to know how many chips are in the bag. Do we agree with that? We're going to look at it a different way, but when we come back to it at the end, I want you to tell me if we still want to use area, okay? We're going to come back to that. I didn't forget about you. I think what you said is important, but I'm hearing a lot of volume, height, length, um, number of chips, okay? So are you... Um, during the lesson, someone did bring up area again, and there was a lot of talk about volume, about the, the, the length, the width, and the height, and so what I was able to do was say, I've heard some great things. Um, you said um, area, so um, we're going to come back to that at the end, and if you feel that area is still something that we need to cover, then we will um, we'll come back to it, but I think we have a, um, a common consensus that we do need volume and volume is really important. My instructional strategy that I feel that I learned from this lesson was um, asking different questions. Questioning is very big and it's very powerful because if we want them to um, be empowered and take learning into their own hands, we have to ask the right question in order for them to think and to come up with the answers. Okay, so I noticed that you said there would probably be four probably before so when you when I hear the word probably it means that you're not sure yeah cause how can you be sure about that go ahead and check your work I'll be right back it is very positive for them to um, to be able to teach themselves also and through that questioning they uh, they can work together with their peers and advance in their thinking and their problem-solving <laughs>